In this video, we are going to understand the relationship between total revenue and marginal revenue. You can refer to our previous lecture to understand what is the meaning of total revenue and marginal revenue. Right? Now, in order to understand this relationship, now if you refer to this chart, let's take the relationship between total revenue and marginal revenue. In order to understand this chart, let me explain a couple of things to you. We are taking the number of bags which were sold, okay? So when one bag was sold, the other column represents the total bag sold. This column represents the price of the bag, which means the price for this particular bag which is sold. This refers to the marginal or the additional revenue which is generated from the sale of this bag and this is the total revenue which is derived from the sale of total number of bags which is mentioned here. Okay? So let's see what's the relationship between these two. So obviously the number of bags which are sold keeps on increasing from 1 it becomes 2, from 2 it becomes 3, from 3 it becomes 4 and so on. Let's take the case from 1 to 2. So the price per bag when we sold one bag was 20 and when it was second bag it was 25. Right? The marginal revenue in both the cases were 20 and 25 and the total revenue was 20 in the first case and the additional revenue which was generated from the sale of other bags so we added this 20 here and we got 45. Right? So as we, the first relationship is that as we increase the number of units sold which generate a positive marginal revenue, right, the total revenue increases. So let's say the total revenue increases, right, when marginal revenue is positive. Okay? So this is the first relationship. This is true not only in the first case but in the second case also if you see the marginal revenue is plus 30 and the total revenue increased from 45 to 75. Right? The second relationship. Now if you refer case 3 and case 4 what has happened is that the marginal revenue which was 30 has come down to 15 when the fourth bag was sold. Right? But because this was positive, therefore the total revenue increased. Let's see case number 5. In this case, the sale of an additional bag okay, did not result in any increase in the marginal revenue. So marginal revenue is zero, right? So when marginal revenue is zero, what we notice is that the total revenue does not change. And also if you see across this table, the total revenue is maximum. So when marginal revenue is zero, total revenue is maximum. Case number three. Now the marginal revenue is negative. Okay? I mean, don't go for this particular column. Let's concentrate on marginal revenue stuff only. Marginal revenue is minus 10 or negative. When the marginal revenue is negative, then total revenue actually comes down. Right? So these were the three key relationships between the total revenue and the marginal revenue. Normally, if you see, this price is not zero or negative, but this has been taken in this particular example only to indicate that the additional revenue is not increasing or is negative. Otherwise, what will happen generally is that the marginal revenue basically is negative when the cost is greater than 
selling price because the incremental revenue which actually comes is negative okay